You had to reschedule this press conference from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Sri Rahul Gandhi is here. Senior leaders of the Kerala Pradesh Congress Committee are also present. We have about 30 to 35 minutes at most for this press interaction because there are other engagements that Mr. Gandhi has, including resuming the 15th day of the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Questions can be asked in Malayalam. For those who want to ask in Malayalam, Mr. Satishan will translate the questions. Questions can be, of course, asked in English and in Hindi. I'll request Sri Rahul Gandhi in case he wants to make a brief two-minute, three-minute no, introduction. No, we, we can start. Or we go straight into <laughs> questions and answers. So let's go straight into questions and answers. We are finished. Today is the 15th day. We have finished 325 kilometers so far. So those of you who want to ask questions, I would request you. This press interaction is on the Bharat Jodo Yatra. So please keep your questions on the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Who will be the first question? In uh, Malayalam. Yeah. Anyone who wants to ask a question in Malayalam? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. Yeah, please. <laughs> I have just two questions for you. I have just two questions for you. One, uh, Mr. Padraivijan has... I can't actually hear you properly. Well, Mr. Padraivijan has remarked that when you started your yatra from Kanyagumari, uh, the uh, Goa Congress has already finished. So, so I can't actually hear what you're saying. I just say it without the mic. All in that corner. No, sir, sir uh, one question per person. So you choose the question you'd like to ask and ask which is the question? Your question is? That the, the Chief Minister has said that the Goa Congress uh, has an issue uh, because of the Bharat, because, um, and the Bharat Jodo Yatra is going on. Yeah, uh, as I've said many times before, uh, we are fighting a machine that has captured the institutional framework of this country. We're fighting a machine that has unlimited money, unlimited ability to pressurize people, unlimited ability to buy people, unlimited ability to threaten people. And the outcome of that is what you have seen in Goa. Uh, the Yatra is designed to tell the people of India that they need to be united, that they need to go back to an India which was loving and affectionate to itself. Uh, so these are two distinct things. Um, and of course, the Chief Minister has every right to his opinion. Second question. Yeah. Can, can you give him a mic that works? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's been 15 days. So you are initial you know, feedback from the Yatra. And, it, and we have seen good response in Kerala. But once it enters into BJP rule stage, do you see this kind of momentum building up in other states? I, I see uh, Kerala has been, uh, frankly, uh, overwhelming success. And people have been coming out regardless of their affiliations. Um, so that is very, very encouraging. Um, the success of the Yatra is based on a couple of ideas. First idea is that a India that stands united is not at war with itself, is not angry with itself, is not full of hatred, is something that majority of Indian people appreciate and like. So that's one idea that is pushing the Yatra. There are two other ideas that are also pushing the Yatra. One is 
the level of unemployment that India is facing today. Devastating unemployment. And that's just not a Kerala issue, that's across the country. Uh, and the third issue is the prices, which are just skyrocketing. These are the three ideas that are pushing and encouraging the Yatra. These ideas are interconnected. There is a link between the spreading of hatred by the BJP RSS, the concentration of capital by a chosen few, and the gross unemployment that India is facing, and the massive increase in prices that India is facing. These things are connected to each other, and the people of India and the people of Kerala are beginning to realize that. My expectation is that it will not matter which state we go to. The effect of the Yatra will be the same in state after state after state, regardless of who's running that state, because there is an underlying problem now in India. And the people of India, and particularly the youth of India, are feeling tremendous pain. Any Rahul ji. Rahul ji. Ah, please. Right in the front row. Rahulji, to make this uh, fruitful, your, uh, to make your Yatra fruitful, you should have uh, uh, travelled through UP uh, more than uh, two days. No, that was an opinion now. Uh, well, uh, came from uh, the CPA well, circle. the the thing is that the Yatra is a is a Yatra that goes from one point of India to another point of India. That's the idea, and that's the way we have designed the route. Uh, we are not going to UP. We are going to UP for probably a little while, but. We are, for example, not going to Bihar. We are not going to West Bengal. We are not going to uh, Gujarat, right? And the reason is that it is a yatra from one end of India to another end of India. Uh, that's because, frankly, uh, we can't walk 10,000 kilometers either, right? So there is a limit. There is a there is a limit to sort of the uh, the route and stuff like that. Don't don't worry about that because we. We have a view on what needs to be done in Uttar Pradesh. We have a very clear view. So don't worry about that. Yes, Rahul Ji. In the last press conference, I made my position very clear. Uh, you know, then that remains my position. I mean, I've explained it multiple times. Just take a look. Just take a look at the last press conference. You'll see exactly what I said. Look, I have repeated myself many, many times. Take a look at the last press conference, and you'll you'll have a very good sense of what I said. Rahulji, uh, we all know you have a national perception. So my uh, question to you is, what is the one piece of advice you would give to those who want to contest for the office of Congress President? One piece of advice that you are taking on a, a position, it's a historic position. Um, and it's a position that defines and has defined uh, a particular view of India. The Congress President is not just an organizational post. The Congress President is a ideological post. It, it is a belief system. So my advice would be that whoever becomes Congress president should remember that he represents a set of ideas, he represents a belief system, and he represents a vision of India. Yes, the one in the blue shirt. Uh, Rahul ji, we all know your Padayatra have a greater national perspective, but your Yatra now is in Kerala. Every day, uh, the Congress, Kerala Congress leader is raising new issues against the state government, but not a single word against Pindrai government in your speech in Kerala. How are you evaluating the left government in Kerala? Look, an evaluation of the left government in Kerala uh, is better done 
by the leadership of the Congress in Kerala. Um, I am very clear what my goal is uh, with regards to this Yatra. My goal with regards to this Yatra is to put across to the people of India that the hatred, the violence and the arrogance that is now visible in our country is not good for our country. This country has a tradition of humility, of non-violence, of compassion and that is actually the true India. The two other ideas that I am placing on the table is the level of disparity between rich and poor in India has now reached a point of no return. The poor are suffering high prices, unemployment and they are going through very, very painful times. And then there is a handful of people who have immense wealth and my position is that this contrast is not good for India. That is what I am focusing on. Of course, as far as the left front goes, uh, I have an ideological disagreement with them. Uh, and I have, I have issues with how they view uh, politics, you know, and, and Kerala. I have told in the last press conference mein bahut clearly that you have to be patient. 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 हम एक परिवार हैं मेरा कम्युनिकेशन उनके साथ डायरेक्ट होता है मीडिया के थ्रू नहीं होता है तो मेरा डायरेक्ट लिंक है उनके साथ और वो जो जो मुझसे पूछते हैं मैं उनको डायरेक्टली बता देता हूं एवरी क्वेश्चन इज कनेक्टेड टू दैट आइडिया Again, I have, I have made my position clear and I don't want to delve on this subject because I'm, you're making me answer the same question six, seven times, right? I've made my clear position very clear. You can look at many such interactions that have taken place in the past. You'll get my answer. It's always been the same. Abhi to Bharat Yatri, matlab, शुरू भी नहीं हुआ है तो मतलब अभी तो क्या दो तीन तीन सौ किलोमीटर तीन 325 किलोमीटर हुए ये इसको आप भारत यात्री नहीं कह सकते इसको आप पता नहीं पांच से पांच छह डिस्ट्रिक्ट के यात्री कह सकते हो तो लेट्स सी लेट्स सी एस इट गोज अलोंग ये ही सवाल आप मुझसे 100 110 दिन बाद पूछिए मैं आपको बेहतर जवाब दे पाऊंगा जो व्हाट वी हैव डिसाइडेड जो हमने उदयपुर में डिसाइड किया वो कांग्रेस पार्टी का एक कमिटमेंट है तो I expect that commitment will be maintained. Dekhye, alag alag vyakti अलग अलग चीजों के बारे में बोलते हैं फिशरमैन से मिले तो फिशरमैन कहते हैं कि जो हमारी जमीन है उस पर इंक्रोचमेंट किया जा रहा है और जो हमारे हमारा जीने का तरीका है 
उस पर आक्रमण हो रहा है आप रबर वर्कर्स से पूछिए तो वो भी आपको दूसरे तरीके से ये कहेंगे कि देखिए अफ्रीका से इंपोर्ट हो रहा है और हमें नुकसान हमारा नुकसान हो रहा है मगर वो भी यही कह रहे हैं इनडायरेक्टली वो भी यही कह रहे हैं कि जो हमारी जमीन है उस पर आक्रमण हो रहा है उस पर हमें प्रेशर लग रहा है और फिर आप आगे जाए और पूछें भैया मगर ये हो क्यों रहा है फिर वो अब आ, आपको जवाब देते हैं कि हिंदुस्तान में दो तीन चार बड़े बड़े उद्योगपति हैं जो सब कुछ कर सकते हैं पोर्ट चला सकते हैं एयरपोर्ट चला सकते हैं एग्रीकल्चर का काम कर सकते हैं साइलोज बना सकते हैं जो भी करना कर, चाहते हैं कर सकते हैं और जो सहायता हमें मिलनी चाहिए चाहे वो बैंक से हो चाहे वो सरकार से वो हमें नहीं मिलती तो घुमा फिर कर हम वहीं उन तीनों मुद्दों पे पहुंच जाते हैं आई बिलीव आई बिलीव यू हैव न्यू ओनर you you have a new owner that's what i'm talking about right i'm you i'm i'm going to answer your question but that's just an example of what i was saying i'm i'm going to answer a question but by the way one, one second by the way ownership of newspapers is not immaterial at all ownership of newspapers defines what newspapers do okay. yeah so i am as i have repeatedly said this is a yatra being done by hundreds of congress people actually in kerala now lakhs of people i am a participant in this yatra you choose to focus everything on me right this is your choice but the idea of the yatra is hundreds thousands lakhs of congress people walking from one side one point in india to the other point in india right so of course i have a view i have uh an idea of why i'm doing the yatra but there are millions of people now who are involved in this any question on this and topic? and your question about uh you know whether i'm a candidate or whether i'm not a candidate is designed to distract from what we're doing and i'm not going to fall into that trap any question that is not a variation on the congress president क्वेश्चन Uh, vendetta because uh, uh, the ruling uh, party is trying to muff, uh, muffle their voice what is your view on this what's your reaction my my view is that all forms of communalism all forms of violence regardless of where they come from are the same and should be combated there should be zero tolerance on communalism regardless of where it's coming from the people who are walking with us in the bharat jodo yatra are evaluating the left front government they are telling you what they think about the left front government it is not my place by walking 
they are giving you a sentiment right but my main aim in this yatra and i've repeatedly said it my focus in this yatra is the hatred the anger the violence that the bjp and the rss are spreading i don't want to get into a conversation that diverts me from that aim my aim is very clear point number 1 we are not going to accept an india which is divided hateful we are not going to accept it neither is the congress party going to accept it neither is the opposition going to accept it neither are the people of india going to accept it point number 2 we are not going to accept an india where our youngsters cannot get employment point number 3 we are not going to accept in india where the poor people are drowning in high prices this is my message and i am not going to get distracted from this message one second please please you have asked well to be honest with you i've got a lot of left front workers coming and shaking hands with me i mean they're there they're on the sides of the roads uh, because they appreciate they appreciate the idea of what we are doing of course it becomes very difficult in political combat for senior leaders of the left front to support what we're doing and i understand that but inside their heart right even they know that the point i am raising the idea that india is being divided hatred is being spread in india in their heart they know i am raising a correct point any other question yes ma'am क्या राहुल गांधी को मैंने दो तीन बार आज बोल दिया है कि मेरा क्लियर फोकस है भारत यात्रा भारत जोड़ो यात्रा हम क्यों कर रहे हैं वो मैंने आपको बताया क्लियरली बताया और वही हमारा लक्ष्य देखिए हिंदुस्तान की पॉलिटिक्स में कोई भी एक्शन लिया जाए कोई भी एक्शन अगर मैं यहां बाहर जाके पांच लोगों से बात करूं तो आप कहेंगी 2024 के लिए ये आपने बात की है अगर मैं जाके वहां पे कहीं किसी के साथ आइसक्रीम खा लू आप कहेंगी देखो आइसक्रीम खाइए दो हजार चौबीस के लिए आइसक्रीम खाइए मगर ये सच्चाई नहीं है दो से मेरे मुताबिक आज सबसे जरूरी बात जो हिंदुस्तान को बांटा जा रहा है तोड़ा जा रहा है जो नफरत फैलाई जा रही है वो है आई आई डू थिंक दैट इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट द ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज कम टूगेदर मैन आई थिंक दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइट द आइडियोलॉजी um and the financial power and the institutional power as a result of the capture uh, of the bjp and the rss so yes i do think it is important that the opposition uh, has a discussion and comes out with a with a strategy i think we have exhausted all questions okay last one last question yes look i think i think any congress worker congress leader who wants to fight the congress election has the right to fight the congress election so i think i think uh, it's not a bad thing i think it's a good thing well i think all questions have been 
going round and round. We are all going round and round. But I'd like to, I'd like to point out one thing. I'd like to, I'd like to point out, I'd like to point out one thing. That it's interesting to me that everybody asks the question about when the Congress party election is going to take place. Who is going to fight the Congress party election? But you do not do this about any other political party in the country. You do not ask this question about the BJP. You do not ask this question about the RSS. You do not ask this question about the communists. You do not ask this question about the Samajwadi, about the BSP. You don't ask this question. And I'm saying this with a significant degree of pride because we are the only political party in this country that does this. Right, friends, I think we have come to the end of the press conference. I mean, go, go to question me, Mr. Shumbay. Time, please, please. Please, you have asked your question. Mr. Rahul Gandhi has had two press interactions in the last 15 days. There are some leaders who have been in public life for 20 years and not had a single press conference. Not had a single president. No, I think I think I think there's I think there's only one leader, not some leaders. Correct. Thank you. I think I think there's only one leader. For twenty years who's not answered or subjected himself to a press interaction, even though that interaction may revolve around only one question. So I thank you very much. I thank you very much. Mr. Gandhi has other engagements now, please. He has to meet others and then Go back to the Yatra. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.